This sentence is in connection to a murder that occurred more than five years ago. In Alexander County Superior Court yesterday, 57-year-old Randy Darrell Shoemake entered a guilty plea to first-degree murder in connection to the 2018 death of 77-year-old Jerry Vincent Hayes of Taylorsville. Shoemake is also a Taylorsville resident. Alexander County deputies found Hayes' body after he was beaten and shot. Hayes' body was found in a wooded area off Robinette Road in the Little River community August 9th of 2018. Shoemake was charged with the murder the next day by the Alexander County Sheriff's Office. Investigators were able to track Shoemake's movements around the time of the murder from a tracking device that he was required to wear after serving a lengthy sentence for a second degree rape conviction. That conviction occurred in 2004 in Alexander County. Shoemake was in prison from January 21st of 2004 until February 13th of 2015 for the rape charge, along with a conviction for kidnapping. Both of the convictions occurred in Alexander County. The North Carolina Department of Adult Correction Offender Public Information website shows multiple convictions for Shoemake in Alexander County dating back to 1985. As WHKY previously reported in August of this year, Shoemake and his son, 35-year-old Cody Lynn Shoemake of Taylorsville, were charged with 18 counts of felony statutory sexual offense with a 15-year-old or younger. Those charges date back to 2018. As of earlier today, Cody Shoemake remained in the Alexander County Detention Center in Taylorsville under $1 million bond. Randy Shoemake had been held in that facility since his arrest, and he remained there as of earlier today. So once again, a life sentence for Randy Darrell Shoemake, who entered a guilty plea yesterday in Alexander County Superior Court in connection to the death of Jerry Vincent Hayes in 2018. Reporting from Alexander County, I'm Rob Eastwood, WHKY News.